Yeah. That's not right. So, that is um, our toy and doll room, and there are three people up here. Uh, usually it's three little girls. Hmm. And if you sit on the floor, I think they would come and talk to you. So, we'll go through here. Now this is the creepy doll room. Okay. These are the oldest dolls over here. And this group here, um, very interesting. You can't see this one from where you're standing. What do you think? It's a pretty creepy looking <laughs> And this, we call her Grace. And this is what happens to a cupid doll when she doesn't take care of herself. <laughs> We're calling her Baby Jane. There was a movie once. Yeah, it's Remember a movie. The Baby yeah, Jane? Yeah. Movie. Looks like her, doesn't it? Yeah. It I does. know. <laughs> so, and then these are very old dolls. This one has pointy teeth. We call that Mother of Chucky. And uh, our oldest doll is probably about 1850. Wow. And we just have a wonderful collection. And these, none of these are bad and possessed. Like that one. Well, I don't know what its name is, but the one Annabelle. that's in that Annabelle? case. Yes. Annabelle, yeah. Isn't it? It's a Raggedy Ann, isn't it? Yeah, something like yeah. that. I think yeah, so, yeah. Like and that, yeah. it's in a case. So yeah. this is the doctor room. It really wasn't a doctor room, but it is a room where we put all the doctor stuff. Now, if you guys have been to Iron Island a lot, when you sit at that table right off of the kitchen, mm -hmm. there's an energy there. Yeah. I, have you noticed it? Yeah. Know you you just can feel it's very strong. And um, in here, there's something very similar. And if you feel it, it's like a it's energy, mm -hmm. something. And it's right here. It's kind of weird. If you put your hands in here, you might be able to feel it. Now, I don't feel so heavy tonight. I can breathe in here. Usually, I can't breathe in this room. Uh, all this equipment came from doctors. And we had one particular doctor in here. Well, in the community. In 1964, that must have been a hot year here, but he uh, performed abortions. And he was uptown, and everybody from all the local places, because it was illegal, would come to him with their cash and uh, pay to have that done. So, now, the door on the other side. These are our mummers. Mummers are a string band. This is, we call this our music room. How many mummers? I know. Look, there's a picture of them in the parade right there on the wall. Mm. Oh, wow. See how elaborate they are? And their costumes are just amazing. They come from Philadelphia or New Jersey in that area there. And um, we used to have them come up here for a parade. Uh, this is our photographer room. And all of these amazing pictures were uh, taken here by one guy, and he won eight world gold medals for his work. Wow. He was awesome. And then this is our bandstand in the center of town in the park, and that is from a colorama um, picture that was 20 foot long in Grand Central Station. This is our merchant room. And... Um, all kinds of cool stuff in here. Uh, we've seen a picture, not that picture, but a big picture up there fly up and down and crash on the floor. It was glass. Never broke, which I don't get. But uh, I don't know which picture it was up there. I, somebody moves stuff all the time on me. But anyway, it was much bigger and there were two hooks. And when they found it, you know, if it had fallen, it would have fallen probably face down. But it was face up, and it was about right here. Kind of like it floated. It's weird. But because we were ignorant, actually, I think it was that picture right there. But because we weren't very smart with our camera system, we only could watch it for 11 days. <laughs> and if I'd have thought about it, I would have put it on my camera, like a video. You know, and took a picture of it, but anyway. You see what an odd basement this was. Wow, yes. Because this actually was a yard here. The house was up here, and so that was their foundation. Guys, this is the house, the ashes from the house. And if you look under here, and we had to put this, Ed fixed it good. 
Um, it's all all under here. The whole thing was buried. And wow. um, you can see that's uh, charred wood. And um, here is the walk. Wow. See this? The walk here. And the chimney was over there. And uh, this was a very, very sad scene. Sybil was a pianist, and she was the last person that lived here, the last living person. And she died in 1976. And then we got the historic Palmyra, got the building. And uh, this is the way it was, except it was much filthier. And we had problems with the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But it was just like it is. And those are from 1940. You know, those eggs over there. Mm -hmm. Everything in here, except for three things. The Sherman William paint, some of the ball jars, and something else uh, was brought in here. But otherwise, gas lights are original. Uh, they didn't have electricity. Never, they never, of 1976, no electricity, no village water in here. Mm -hmm. This door right here, everybody has walked in and out of this door from 1826, because that's when this part of the building was built, okay? This will really amaze you how big this is. All right, now this is the totally original door. It's never been washed or painted. <laughs> Anybody, they put their boots here, and then they put their grubby arms here. They were filthy from working. And this is the door they came into. Wow. So that's kind Why of Why did they come in that door? Why did they? Because... This was the front door of this building. This wasn't here until William came, and he didn't come until 1868. Then he bought the whole building. This was a rental property. The canal was all about money, and people that were business people built buildings and rented them out, And because uh, they didn't want to stay down there by the canal. Okay, come on here. Okay. Now, this is a storage room here. Stay off of that right there, just because it's uh, original and it's very old and it's held up by a weight and a rope. <laughs> now, you'll notice the floor moved when I stood on it, which really makes a lot of sense, really. Because if you drop something, you just pick up the board. How awesome is that? That's cool. I mean, it's not brain surgery, right? Well, this was the original outside of the building here, two windows on either side here, and then there was nothing down here on the corner except uh, the canal. And so this was the only building on the canal, and uh, until this was big white building was built in uh, 1845. Now, here we are, up here. Wow, this place is just mm -hmm. This is their washroom. And the bathtub's right there by you, Matt. And this is, these are their clothes on the line. This is their ice box, their washing machine, their carpet sweeper. This is their place. Uh, okay, come on this way. Here's the kitchen. In 1876, this was state of the art. In 1976, it was very outdated. But Sybil didn't use anything because she went out to eat and she didn't, I don't know where she bathed, but I don't think she used that. Mm. This is a cistern, which is very unusual on the second floor. Um, typically they're in the basement. And there is one in the basement here. Uh, and the excess goes down there. And this is water from the drains, yeah. from the gutters and stuff. Okay, come this way. This is the bakery sign that faced the canal that shows us with the outside of the building. All this was built on by William. Now, the furniture is all their furniture. It is totally original. This stuff is so original that here's the glasses that came to Sybil in the mail, and they're still in here in the box. And it says Miss Sybil Phelps on it. Isn't that pretty cool? So, okay, now 
We're going into the house. Oh, but anyway, everybody but Sybil died in here. It became the sick room after the maid left. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay guys, this is the dining room. When this was a boarding house in the day, 1826, when it was built, this was the area where the guests would sit and eat, and then um, they could overlook the canal because there were glass doors in here. And uh, it was right over looking the canals, which is kind of cool. And then, uh, we're going to turn this light on so you can see. These are all their dishes. This is their stuff. Now, Sybil was a spiritualist for 50 years. She would do scribing in the mirrors. And that's why a lot of the mirrors face each other. It's kind of interesting. She was pretty awesome. Uh, she was a musician. She played the piano, the organ, and the guitar. And you may hear the piano play. Now, it doesn't always play a whole song. What you find is when you're downstairs, you might hear old-time music. When you're up here, you might hear old-time music downstairs. But um, rarely do you hear her play. You may hear her singing. But, um, and Mamie's here, and Julius, and William, and all the fellows are here, and the ladies. And when it was a boarding house, before the Phelps family, who knows who was here? We have one guy that's still here, and his name is Jack. And he plays cards upstairs. So we put cards on the bed, and if anybody has a mind to, they can play cards with them. Now, this is the North Parlor. This is, isn't this awesome? This is, this is their furniture. Now, the lights aren't theirs because they only used gas and uh, kerosene. Um, we put um, the lights in that we found around that might look old. This is where Holly is. She's a little girl that lives under the table. She's under the table. We found her one time, Steve found her, and um, took about 45 minutes. It was a very lengthy process. And uh, she's under, there were six other children. And that's where she stays because she's afraid to come out. So that's what we've determined. And she will touch people. And uh, typically girls, but you never know, you might try it. Um, she might not be threatened. This is a family, guys. Uh, right in the middle are William and Catherine. They started the William Phelps General Store. Then you have Julius, who is the far left. He is the one that closed it in 1940, and he came here when he was 17 days old. So he's just a little baby. Then this is his sister, Mary Louise, and she was seven years old when they came here. Now you have Mamie, she's around all the time, and uh, she was Julius's wife. They had Sybil. Pardon me, and this is Sybil. She, this was her piano. The organ is hers behind there, and the guitar that's over be, beside the organ. So these, this is just their stuff. This is the door. This is the only door you could get to or used to get to the second rental unit. This was a boarding house. Downstairs was a tavern, a bakery, or a grocery store. And this is pre-Phelps family. So um, you got to know there's levels of spirits here, all kinds of levels. So this, oh, how do you like clowns? <laughs> I even warn you, I usually, I usually make an alert. Um, now this is on all the time. This doesn't hook up to anything. So, and this plug is live too if you needed a plug. Now, this is the only way to get to the boarding house upstairs in 1826 to 1827. And then William built this print shop down here as a rental property. And he took the stairs off, of course, and, but he loved this door, so he left it. And this is the original 1826 door. You can see the square-headed 
hand forged nails. It's really pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So now, and our clowns, Sybil loved the circus. Mm -hmm. So we have posters and clowns. And you know Ringling Brothers? They really were brothers. And this is a poster of them. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> I know it. You know, some of these things we, we hear about all the time, but we just don't know the facts about them because a lot of people don't have this stuff. Oh man. Wow. I just, somebody just pulled on my shirt. Again? Yeah, and I watched it. Whoa. Oh man. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Woo, I got the chills now. Oh gosh. <laughs> what was that? What was that? They say Rob. Go. 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 I heard go. Why do you want us to go? Are you close? Is there anybody here with us? For one of the children, can you please turn that light on for me? Here's a friend. I'm here to play. If you want to play. Can you please turn that light on for me and let you know let me know you're here some way? Oh man. Holly, are you here with me? I'm here to be your friend. I thought you were tugging on my shirt earlier. Can you turn on this light next to me? Oh man. Thank you, Holly. Come on, we want a service. We're here to buy something. Can you can you sell us something? <laughs> you can, huh? What do you what do you recommend for us? What should we buy? We've never been to your store before. <laughs> so you got all kinds of stuff here. Paint, detergent. What was that? I heard. Wait, towels. You said, I almost sound like towels. When I when you said detergent, I thought she said Tide. Tide or towels? Yeah. yeah. What do you want us to buy? Was that Tide? <gasps> I sounded like yeah, like Tide. Yeah, like Tide. I don't know. That was just me though. When you said detergent, it just yeah, sound you know. It was something. Yeah. Either Tide or towels. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something. Mm-hmm. You want, do you want us to buy Tide? I heard footsteps upstairs. Like thumping. Like it was like, it was just two, like bump bump. Oh, the lights. Such a bad feeling. Well, a lot of people died here, they said, so. This is the, this is the room they made yeah, this, people out. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, did you, did, did you pass away here? Dude, I, I swear to God, I just felt something brush by my legs. Did you say something? I don't know if it was like the hair standing up, mm -hmm. but it seriously felt like something just brushed against the front of my legs. No joke, dude. My, my hair. Oh, oh my head. I like, totally freaked out like right now. My, my, my hair, arms. My, like, my legs. It, was just, it literally felt like, felt like, like I don't have a lot of hair on my leg, but it literally yeah. felt like, like a bruise. Something, right yeah, my yeah. Leg, well, like, like it, def my it definitely could have been. And she said kids died in here, right? Yeah, I think so. So. This was a room they laid people out. Right. 
Do they also... Uh, yeah, that's oh, weird. Oh. Oh. Did you die in this room? What's your name? I hear walking. I'm writing this. Ow. Yeah. What is going on? I heard leave. That was weird. Yeah. It just the light like it literally went off and then blinked right <laughs> as you said one. <laughs> Alright. I want you to play a little game for me. If this if this is Rose I'm talking to, on the count of three I want you to turn on that flashlight, alright? Oh. One, two, one, three. Three. Oh, okay. That was neat though. What the sh that's that's <laughs> kinda crazy. I don't that's know. Nice. One, two, three, on, yeah. Yeah. It's just like counted for me. Yeah. Yeah. Totally heard that. If it's Rose, will you turn the light on for me? Do you want to be my friend? Oh. Wow. Well, I guess Rose wants to be my friend. Did anybody pass away here? Was that a beard? Is that from them or from us? Hey guys! Yeah. Are you making banging noises down there? No, no. Oh shoot. I heard like a piano key. Yeah, yeah. I heard a piat. I heard a piano key. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say, but then you looked. I'm like, okay, you heard it too. Then I'll turn I, this off for a second. I, heard I totally heard like too. a dink, like Sound one piano key. Or two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. And it sounded sure. like the one that you hit. Yeah. Oh my god. It wasn't coming out of here. I I just know. No, it wasn't. Coming no, out no, no, no. No, it came from like behind. Yeah, me. yeah. It definitely. That was definitely a piano. That was a. What was that? That's what it was. That's not me. I don't have any. I don't know. What is that? <laughs> what is it? What's beeping? The walkie talkie? Could that oh, be it? Do you have a light? It's not even on. Mm. Okay. I don't know what that could be. I don't know. Just, yeah. Flash it. No, no, it's just a still I, running. I don't know what. Speed I mean, what, off. I don't know what. There, the, there's nothing else that be.